everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today we are going to take a look at something so exciting. It is the Black Panther Wakanda Forever collector doll. Uh, and this is Okoye. These dolls, from what I understand right now, are a Target exclusive. Uh, I, there was a beautiful display at my Target of, it was funny because there was this beautiful display for the Wakanda Forever stuff, but then underneath it, there was no Wakanda Forever. It wasn't even Black Panther stuff, it was like Barbie. But I guess it was because they had sold out already. So there are actually three dolls in this series so far. These are made by uh, World of EPI, uh, and those are the same folks that make the Fresh dolls. And uh, I am just so, so, so excited that they got the license to make these dolls because I know they are going to do it right. So, wow, and the writing is so big I can read it without my glasses. So, Okoye. I'm so excited about her. The general of the Dora Milaje, I know I butchered that, and leader of Wakanda's armies, Okoye is the nation's fiercest warrior. However, she will be challenged like never before when she battles both a foe beyond her strength and the very traditions of Wakanda itself. So Wakanda Forever is going to be a very difficult movie, but it's a very important movie um, for everyone. And I know, let me look up these dolls, because it's funny, when I checked, when I was checking out, the uh, checkout person was like, oh my gosh, I didn't see these dolls yet. Oh my gosh, I love this movie. I can't wait for this movie. And she was like super excited. It's $49.99. And then she was like, holy crap, that was expensive. And I'm like, yeah, but they're collector dolls. I think that it is worth it to have dolls of this quality and to have dolls in your home that are of really strong female characters with, you know, Wakanda has given us this this amazing tradition of of wealth and power, but also of of trying to achieve balance and be one with nature, of building a life where you're living in simplicity but also in the high-tech world. Like, I think Wakanda is very utopian to me in so many ways. And so I really think that getting these dolls, getting at least one of these dolls, would be a really, really great thing to have on hand as a gift for anyone in your family who loves Marvel, who loves dolls, who loves the Black Panther. Um, it, it's just just going to be, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. And I think they're going to love it no matter what their age is, because you're, you're, you're never too old to have an amazing Marvel Black Panther doll. So the movie Wakanda Forever is coming out November 11th of this year. And there are three dolls in this collector series. So you've got Okoye, Nakia, and Shuri. And these World of EPI is a black woman-owned business, and so there are custom um, pigment blends and unique hairstyles, and a lot of thought went into making these dolls. I'm just super excited for them. I am going to get Okoye out of the box, and we are going to take a closer look. So here she is. Super, I am absolutely blown away with how much she looks like the actress. Um, with the spear right in your face. I, just look at this beautiful, beautiful sculpt. Now my camera's trying to lighten it up because it's it always does that. Sorry about that. Um, love the way they did her hair. So, so cool. The thing that World of EPI does so, so well, and uh, is, and, and this is what is so beautiful about the Fresh dolls, is that, you know, they, these are custom pigments made for these dolls. And so, by the way, she is articulated in the wrists, in the elbows, um, do her shoulders, now her shoulders go back and forth, oh, they do go up, they go up to the side, uh, it's a little bit harder because of her breastplate. Uh, she's not articulated at the waist, um, head has good articulation, knees are articulated. Um, you know, they mix 
this, the, the pigment for the skin tones. And then the paint is just really thoughtful. And if you look at the depth of the color, the different, you know, look at her cheeks. There's a blush to the cheek. There's just, it's so beautiful. I collect a lot of dark skin dolls and you know sometimes they're done so well and sometimes it's just you know brown pigment normally when that happens they also just you know for for the dolls of all colors it's just a very static the whole plastic is one pigment and then maybe they put some blush on and they screen the makeup and everything but i just there's just like this richness and depth with like an undertone of red to her skin that's just so beautiful look at the hands look at how delicate but I mean strong I mean you know if you've seen the first movie if you've seen Endgame and uh, I mean just so good so good actually not so much Endgame as <laughs> Endgame not a good movie uh, but um Oh, she's so cool. And uh, she's actually one of my favorite ca characters um, from the Black Panther um, pantheon of characters. Look at this really rich that they got in the gold color of the plastic. And then the mixture of, well, we know those are those little beads that they wear in a Black Panther. But look at just the mixture of the two, like, you know, platinum and gold and then the leather accents which are plastic but just they're so well colored and look, look you get up close look at the detail oh it's so cool so so cool and she's got these um like tassel pieces here with these beads on them and then this look at that I mean that could have just been a piece of fabric you know but it's not it does look like animal hide it has you know the uneven uneven edging you know the natural edging of animal hide and then her her boots super cool I did manage to get her to stand on her own her boots are slightly rounded at the back so you have to sort of do a little bit of a balancing act but it can be done but she does come with a stand a very nice stand. It's always interesting to see how new doll companies are like, you know, I've never seen a stand with a waist like this before. Um, so let's see how, oh, and it's nice and flexible too, the waist piece. So you don't have to like, feel like you're going to break it trying to get it around her waist. I'm going to move it down a little bit. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I was really impressed that I was able to get her to stand on her own. She comes with her spear and um, her one hand as you can see, is positioned in a bent posture so that she's holding the stand. And then if you twist the other hand, you can kind of, there you go, you can kind of get it to also hold the spear. So it's really cool. Like you can really pose her um, to, oh God, she's so cool. Look how cool she is. Oh, so, so cool. Um, I think given what we've been paying for dolls lately that are are not so well thought out and and just you know don't have this level of detail I think $50 is absolutely a good price point for this doll and um, I definitely I, I definitely want um, Nakia and and Shuri definitely want Nakia I'm kind of holding out for a shirt. I don't know if we're going to get it, though. I'm kind of holding out for a Shuri in the Black Panther outfit. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we're all kind of thinking that's going to happen. But I don't know. Are they going to let a woman stay the Black Panther? I think Okoye would make a great Black Panther. She certainly has... Gosh, I mean, she trained T'Challa so much, you know, so, uh, and her relationship with T'Challa, oh, God, it was so good. And I, I just, it is just going to be so hard to see this movie without Chadwick uh, in it. It's going to be so hard. Uh, I've seen the trailer and um, it's just heartbreaking. And he was, you know, Chadwick Boseman was 
was so incredibly talented and so young and it's so hard when you you know it's like it's so frustrating and hard when you lose people that have such a gift and bring so much art into our lives and then we lose them it's like you lost this this treasure you know and uh but i think about all of the people that worked with him and became friends with him and like how awful it had to be to go back to work to suit up again as a koye without having your partner there to to act in those scenes with you to have to reach into the depths of your own real raw grief to then portray that in this character that you have you know you you have to inhabit and i just tremendous tremendous respect for the actors who are in wakanda forever um it's gonna be i'm gonna cry I'm gonna cry and I'm definitely gonna go see it in the movies um, I have not gone to see a movie in the movies I think I went once during the whole pandemic so I haven't seen a movie in the movies in over a year but I'm gonna go see this in the movies because I want to see it in all of its ginormous glory I'm so excited so comment down below let me know what you think of the world of VPI uh, Wakanda Forever collector dolls in general and in particular in Okoye and uh, you know are you gonna go see the movie in the movies I hope so I hope so because it's this is this is gonna be a big film I just remember you know seeing the Black Panther for the first time and when 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 we saw uh, Wakanda it was so massive and vast and and just seeing this Oh, it's just just it was so big it was so so big so I really want to see it on the big screen so let me know in the comments down below what you think and I will see you again real soon love you so much bye